What's up guys? So welcome to another video tutorial in Java by Basic Coding. So bago tayo guys magsimula, I just want to say na so may mga alam dyan sa ibang programming language. So I guess you have the advantage na, especially may, kung may alam kayo sa C. And again, I'm just gonna say in, the, in this whole tutorial video, um, sa buong tutorial ko in Java, and then in the future, I'll just assume that everyone is a beginner, beginner cause what if may gustong may isa dyan na nanonood na Java ang unang gustong matutulan. So, I'll assume that wala siyang background sa ibang programming language. So, kung magsasabi ako ng mga um, related to other programming language, so, hindi siya dyan makaka-relate. So, to be fair, I'll assume that everyone is a beginner para naman sa iba. So, yun lang guys. So, um, every time na mag, um, in this whole tutorial, every time na mag susulat tayo ng code natin, Gagawin natin yung file, new project, then job application. So, ito kung paggawa natin ng ating project kung saan tayo magsusulat. So, I had, I had, um, na-explain ko na to in the previous, excuse me, tutorial. So, pakinood na lang po yun. Thanks. So, job application, then name our project. Let's just name it lesson 4. So, finish. So, this is the code kung saan tayo magsusulat. So, in-explain ko na pa, pa, po pala to in the previous tutorial also. So, pakinood na lang po yun. So, kung anong ito, ano yan, ano yan. So, in-explain ko po yan doon. Pakinood na lang po. So, thanks. In this tutorial, guys, um, pag-usapan natin is variables. So, ano nga po pa ang variables, data types, and assignment statements. So, in Java, guys, we declare um, variables, then... And, and I mean, we declare, yes, variables, and yung variables na yun is lalagyan natin ng data. So, we have, to, we have to also specify the variable kung anong data type siya, kung it's either integer, gano'n. So, in Java, we have integer, int, int, we do it as int, we let them, we let Java know na int, character, um, boolean, float, Double, um, double, ano pa? Double, long, ano pa kaya? Um, string. So, ang string, guys, um, is, is also, pero sa susunod ko na yan, let's just um, disregard it for now. Pero it's also a data type. Pero hindi na natin muna yan, yan no? basic lang tayo. Because medyo iba siya dito, sa karamihan sa ano dito. So, Yun. Just wait. If you're curious about it, you can search the internet naman. So, yun. So, tama na ba? Integer character boolean float double long. So, okay. So, integer just means that we can store whole numbers. For example, 100, 101, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you cannot store the 1.2. Something like that with decimal. So, yun. You can store 100. Then, character. Character is, um, kumbaga sa world, world ng ating ano. It's like a letter. So, anything that's, that is inside the single quotation mark, single quotation mark tawag dito, so it's considered as a character. Ganyan. For example, A, small letter C, B. So, what if, naglagay ako dyan ng 8, character pa ba siya? Yes. So, just tanda nyo lang, it is, um, anything na nasa loob ng single quotation marks is um, considered, considered as a character. So, um, boolean, ano ang boolean? Ang boolean lang naman is, um, it's either true or false lang naman ang value niyan. So, very useful siya for conditions. So, float, float lang just means that you can store na decimal numbers. For example, 1.5, 1.25, same as double, 1.24, you can store um, decimal places like that. With decimal places pala. Pero, anong pinagkaiba nila? float at saka double. Ang um, pinagkaiba lang namin nila is how the data is stored. So, I think double is 64 bits, something like that, and float is 32. So, ganun lang naman. So, pero may gusto akong sabihin about dyan sa double and float, um, something about in Java. And long, ang long naman is um, a data type where you can stall, stall, store, very, very long, kaya nga long, long na nag na millions or mahabang digits na numbers. For example, mga 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Mga ganyang kahabang numbers. So, you store it in a long data type. 
Okay? So, ganun. So, how do we apply it in Java? So, the syntax lang naman in variable declaration is, ang unang ilalagay mo is the data type. Start tayo sa integer. So, int. Int. Then, your variable name. For example, number. Again, your variable name is um, completely up to you. Nasa sa inyo yan. So, semicolon. Don't forget the semicolon. So, I just want to say na every time you declare variables, um, don't forget the semicolon. And also, panaga, system.out.println kayo. So, nakalimutan ko kasi sabihin yun sa previous tutorial. So, every time na nag-print kayo, variable declarations, function calls, sa mga future tutorials yun. So, don't forget the semicolon. Okay, guys? It's like a period sa sentence, kumbaga. So, eto, you do this when you want to declare a variable. So, ang ibig sabihin lang naman ito is, you have a variable name called number of type integer. So, you can only store integer um, values. So, this is an empty, you declare this as an empty variable. So, wala tong laman, pero gusto nyong lagyan ng laman, you can put it like this. Ganyan. So, assignment statement. This is already called as an assignment statement. Assignment statement na yan. Um, simple lang naman ang meaning is just assigning a data or a value to a variable. Assign kaya nga assignment statement. So, ganun lang naman ang meaning, ganun lang naman ang meaning ng assignment statement. So, pwede nyo, pwede, nyo, pwede nyo naman siyang gawin na ganito kung gusto nyo direct rin. Ganyan. So, assignment statement pa rin siya. So, ganun lang naman guys. So, Character, for example, letter is equal to A. Ganyan. Ganyan lang naman. So, ganito lang naman ang syntax niya. So, I've said you have a variable name called letter of type character. So, ang unang ilalagay is the data type, your variable name, nasa sa inyo niyan, then equal, then yung value niya. So, as I've said, pwede kayo maglagay ng ganyan. It is still considered as a character. So, ganyan. So, Ano pa? Uh, boolean, boolean, condition. For example, it's equal to false. So, it's either true or false. Dala naman ang value niya. So, flow, um, double muna tayo. Double, for example, um, D1 is equal to 3.14. Okay. Ganyan. Tingin nyo to guys. This is the part when I'm going to tell you about the double and float. So, eto na. Float, <clears throat> for example, float, F1 is equal to 1.2. Kung nakikita nyo guys, nag error siya. Bakit siya nag error Kasi guys, always remember that in Java, sa Java, once na, kung sa, once na you said na 3.14, anything na may decimal places sa Java, a number with decimal places, for example, 1.2, 10.13, ganyan, anything with decimal places, Tinetake yan ng Java, always yan tinetake ng Java as double. Kaya, kung nagkikita niyo dito, nag error siya kasi ang iniisip niya, itong 1.2 is double. So, ganun. Kaya, nag error siya kasi, as I've said, um, double and float, magkaiba yan. Magkaiba. Kaya, nalilito siya kung ano ba to double ba to float, ganyan, ganyan. So, kaya, so nag, nag error message. So, yun. Tinitake niya kasi to, as I've said, lahat ng mga may decimal places in Java, tinitake niya ng Java as double. Okay? So, if you want to tell Java na, oh, float yan. Okay? So, you just have to put F. F. Ganyan. Sa hulihan ng number mo. Ganyan lang naman, guys. So, last but not the least is long. May kalimutan ko ba sa data type? Uh, wala naman nata, di ba? So, I'll just, uh, ihabol ko lang sa next tutorial video kung may nakalimutan ako. Para, pero parang wala naman. So, long, for example, long L is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, or 10. Ganyan. So, kung makikita nyo is, ganyan. In long, you also have to put L sa hulihan ng number, to specify that it, it, it is a long number. So, pwede nyo naman lagyan ng small letter L, pero, pero parang nalilito siya, parang 1 siya, ba Parang 1. So, it is advisable na 
and big letter N. So, ganun lang naman guys. Wala naman tayong masyadong discuss. Let's just, I'm just going to show how you, how to print, paano to i-print. So, simple lang naman. System dot, dot out dot print ln. So, I'll, in the previous tutorial, I've explained already kung anong ln. Next line lang naman yan. Pero, if you want more explanation, you can watch my video bago nito. So, number is plus, then your variable name. So, what does this mean? What does, ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin nito? Pag rinan natin, number is 100. Which is 100. So, this just means, guys, na the plus here means lang naman na concatenation. So, concatenate. So, ano nga ba ang meaning ng concatenate? Kung baga, guys, pinagdikit lang. So, eto, na number natin, kung baga, pinag-isa lang to, which is eto ng buong to. So, kung baga, ah, ganito. I'll show you for a better example. So, system that up print ln. For example, um, gels is handsa. Don't forget the semicolon. So, di ba, magkaiba to? This, this, ano, this is different from this one. So, the plus here, just, ang ginagawa lang naman, lang naman niya is, kumbaga, pinag-isa na to, kinongcatenate, pinag-isa na yan, kumbaga, minerge, parang pinag-isa na. So, pag print natin to, just is handsome. Yan. Kumbaga, pinag-isa na lang naman siya. Pareho din dito niya nangyayari dito. So, in other data types, pareho lang naman, pareho lang naman, just have to put here your, um, your data, I mean your variable name, letter, um, your, um, character, character, um, letter, is, ganyan. So, alisin ko lang to, or comment out ko na lang. So, ganito na lang, para mas makita nyo. So, letter is, ganyan, then, plus tayo, then, condition is, Last tayo ng, uh, kumbaga, take, let's take it dalawa-dalawa. So, kung makikita nyo, di ba ganito siya? Lagyan ko dito ng space. So, letter is A. etong A na to, eto siya. Letter is A. Condition is true, which is the boolean eto. So, parang pinag-assive siya, yung plus is parang kinangkatanik siya, pinagdirikit-dikit lang sila, pinag-isa-isa. So, ganun lang naman guys. Ganun lang naman siya kasimple. So, you can try in other variables. So, pareho lang naman yan. In, uh, for example, double is plus, then d1. Ganyan. Hindi naman natin siya sensitive sa spacing. So, system that out. Let's copy this. Copy ko lang yan. The uh, float. float, ops, float is, then ano nga yun, F1, so F1, so pareho lang naman siya, di ba, nagigita nyo ito sa baba, so long, same as long, what's in yung variable name long, you just have to put here the variable name, okay, long is, then ganyan, so ayan na siya. So, ganun lang naman guys, ganun lang naman kasimple. So, nag-guess nyo na kung anong ibig sabihin nito. So, you can con you can continue here na mag-ganyan. Then, hello world. As I said, parang kinakonkatenate lang siya. Dinidikit-dikit, ganyan-ganyan. Kung makikita nyo. Diba? Ito siya. So, kung gusto nyo may spacing, lagay lang kayo dito ng spacing na parang ganyan. So, ganun lang naman guys. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa video tutorial to. So, medyo natagal lang. 14 minutes. So, okay lang yan. So, I hope you'll subscribe guys. So, pag may tanong lang kayo, just comment down below. Okay? So, thanks! Wala na ako nakalimutan na data types ha. So, pahabol ko na lang. Thanks! Thanks guys!